Hello everyone, we continue playing this island map with the even Batuta update and um, this is our continent, we conquered a free city already so we are expanding very nicely and we got fishing which is going to be very important very soon, oh look at that, two more guys, if I kill them I do not get a militaristic uh, star but still it gets closer to it so i will try to to get them to get them killed if i can these guys will go here get the old horde maybe they will go back to their territory and heal because it's uh, upsetting me a little bit that they walk around so wounded that cannot be good for for their morale um, you know for their morale and for their spirits Leadership. We're going to go with one more city cap also to get a more influence on emblematic districts, which is always very nice. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go bronze, bronze working first. <coughs> we are going here, checking things out. We're going to hit another turn. And Durkurig also will attach this. And you guys will fight. Yep. We will accept this attack. This guy will go there, this guy will go here. And everything seems to be perfectly fine. Oh, they have a higher ground attack. Well, that is not super great, is it? Let's weaken them a little bit. Yeah, I need to reorganize my stuff. Okay, you are going here, you are going back. We are hitting this guy really hard. Okay, that should work. Yeah, that did work actually. Okay, let's end the round. Yeah, I didn't realize they had a higher ground attack there, so that was a bit of a shame, but at least we didn't lose anything, like any units. My warrior is a little bit wounded, but he will survive. I'm wondering where should I get city number three. I'm not so sure about that. Mm -hmm. And up here... Okay, we can still go back there to see if curiosity spawn around that land. That could be interesting. And Era Star has been unlocked. This battle continues to go on and the archers are really very very helpful of course they are extremely strong in the ancient era the religious rites we are going to go with procession to get more production in every city uh, let's check out the stability it's not super great so we are going to get maybe the marble well we start with the marble and then we'll see we need uh, some extra luxuries uh, 125 influence to get another outpost so we have to wait Hey, look at that. We have found a curiosity. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. That was a mistake. Let's go here. You will not go down. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, there is some forest here that I will probably not use, so I will just chop it. And a builder a star has been earned. Yeah, I think I should maybe try to go for another one of these. Okay, speaking of builder era stars, let's do this, let's do that. Let's get the luxury earlier actually because we kind of need it for stability. I am not going to the new era just yet. We have a few more things to get before we actually go into another era. Um, this guy... What are you going to do my friend? You know what, this is very choppable, so we'll try to go and chop it. And also this one, why not? It's very far from everything, so let's go and chop it. We'll go here, and this guy will go south. Or north, north, okay. Now you'll go south to look for more of those curiosities, they are super nice. 
and now we got an agrarian era star okay and a scientist one so we have now nine era stars it looks like only the accumulated persians are gone we didn't want the accumulated persians so i'm not super concerned about that i would like to get at least 10 i can get one scientist i can get one builder i can get one agrarian none of those should be so difficult and even i need 150 here uh, that's uh, okay it's like four turns but still it's doable we need to go sailing soon because the moment we get into the next era i would want to get trade expeditions so mm -hmm. we get something here is it yeah it is science that's very good we needed the extra science for sure and now we'll do this to explore the fog try to find more curiosities more free science if possible and you are going to be chopping some more stuff for Durkurigalsu I guess territory number 3 for Durkurigalsu should be this one mm -hmm. we are going to buy this to get in some time and get an even another luxury because it's, it's kind of a necessity um okay this guy continues to look for curiosities down here a lot of them have spawned so makes perfect sense to keep looking honestly just keep moving your scouts around you never know what's gonna happen aha uh -huh. we have a lot of very choppable tiles in this map so that's very nice Can I buy something here? No, I cannot. Well, okay then. If I can't, I can't. It is what it is. You know, you have to accept the situation. Live with it. Don't make a drama out of it. Okay, so... Ah, that forest isn't mine, so it wouldn't make so much sense to chop it, really. But we can go here and think about the next outpost. This is a very very nice 27 but it isn't close to any of the rivers this is a 20, this is a 22 thing is uh, if you are closer to the rivers you can make that much much better later on I mean these are tiles that they are very good right now but it's not going to be so easy to improve them I guess this one, this 28 has at least one river tile, so it's not so awful. Oh, look at that. Let's go and get it. Let's see if we get more science here. Okay, cool. How are we doing with the builder stuff? We need four more of those. Okay, then. Hey, look at that. Let's go and get this curiosity. Let's get the copper mine because all of this goes towards the builder star, so um, it's kind of important to have it. Oh, I forgot to do this here. That was a mistake. Oh, 22 food, man, that's a lot of food. This is 20, but we do need um, some districts, so some uh, quarters, I mean. This guy can go here to do some chopping over there. Yeah, that's fine. All of those tiles are just too far away from the actual administrative center, so it's not like I'm going to turn those forests into exploitations anytime soon. So I might as well chop them so they are good for something. Um, okay. How about another city down here? We can have uh, 20 over here. Okay, the 20 seems to be the best one. No rivers here. And up here uh, we have an 18 with rivers. Yeah, and that's about it. 19 here in the river. Mm 
I guess I could have both of them honestly. It was a twenty I didn't even I don't even remember. Oh but it's it's very imbalanced here with all of it in in production, so listen. We're going to go here. We're going to get me the other one, which has a little bit more balance. This 19 here is nice. Also very next to the coast. Could make for a nice city. This is mine, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We are going to take a look down here in case some curiosities have appeared. Because we never know when curiosities can appear. Do we? So we should keep looking. The Maya and the Axumites. I didn't want to pick any of those. So I'm still fine with that. Okay, how's the deal with the builder? Okay, there you go. The builder star is done. So um, we need nine more people for the agrarian star. It's gonna take a while. Unless I buy this. I wouldn't mind having the agrarian era star, honestly. The gold one. We have three. The thing is, I do want to pick the Carthaginians. They're very good for island maps. They're super strong for island maps with a very, very nice uh, emblematic quarter. So I guess I will get them. Yeah, before even getting the next agrarian era star. It just needs to happen, really. And this fella... I don't know. Okay. Uh, the last of their line. Okay, I don't remember what I usually pick on this one. Maybe I just accept... Oh, this is some nice industry bonus. I think I will get this one. I will get the industry bonus. I lose some stability, but... It shouldn't be so difficult to get back some stability in, in this in this game. Let's go here. Let's go. Um, okay, wait. Did I reveal some curiosity? The answer is no. So we just let this guy walk a little bit more. These two fellas. After I get this territory, I will want to start chopping immediately around here, for example. We can go back there, and we will finish the turn. Yeah. No. Not just yet. Okay, well, this guy will do nothing. And this guy will explore, and that's it. Okay, okay. Now we finish the turn. Here we go. With the Carthaginians. Good stuff. I have removed the narrator, by the way, because he kept telling me the same stuff over and over and over. It's kind of exhausting. I need 500 here. Hmm. It's gonna take a while. Especially if I spend 169 here. But I will do it nonetheless. On that one. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. I feel like I could chop this tile. Which belongs to Durkurig also to give it some production. And these guys can wait actually to chop that one. Cannot be chopped right now. I think I'm going to chop this one with this army. Yeah, there we go. Let's go and chop that. And let's buy the flood irrigation because that's going to give me a lot of people. I do want to get the stability from this and then we'll go with all of these guys because they are super, super good. This is really one of the best uh, emblematic quarters in the entire game. Um, the, the emblematic quarter of the Carthaginians is just super, super strong. These guys are still waiting to start chopping immediately. Let's go. Nice. And you do this, yeah. I know we are getting too late to turn this into a city because we keep losing influence, but that's fine. We are using it for uh, you know good causes, so I'm okay with it. 
Here, let's finish masonry. Oh, okay, no, actually, let's not finish masonry. Let's go trade expeditions first. Because we really, really want to get out of the of the starting continent, yeah? Trade expedition in eight turns, okay. We are going to be chopping this one. For some nice amount of production, we are going to buy the harbor. We are going to build a nice harbor, or a nicer one. Uh, it looks like we are already having problems with stability, so I'll make the public uh, fountain first, just to deal with it. We are going to go here and chop that. And you are going to move around. Let's finish the turn. And you wonder can be claimed, but it's a very bad one. Oh wait, this one is not too bad, not too bad at all. But five percent money per alliance that could be very nice if we get like three alliances at fifteen percent extra money and more stability everywhere. And this is more full. I think I'm going to go with the statue of Zeus. And I will try to build it. Okay, I think this should be chopped as well. Okay, let's see, we are in the fog over there, so... We want to invest, but we don't have the right tiles for it right now. So I cannot really use uh, my unique ability. Okay, we got some faith stuff. We can select a religion. I'm going to go with... I don't know, what can we do this time? Buddhism. Let's pick Buddhism. Buddhism. Select. Oh. Buddhism, yeah. And then influence is nice. Industry and forest is super nice, honestly. Science and strategic resource deposit, not too bad. Because uh, right now I don't have a lot of science, so this would give me a nice boost. You know what? Because of this particular game that I'm playing, I'm going to go with the science. Yeah. I don't usually get that one, I usually go for the production one, but this particular case, I, I want the science right now uh, because, um, well, basically I want to go into the sea as soon as possible. I'm going to chop this one, and this guy will be prepared to explore the, um, the, the sea, like over here, because we are about to get it, so... I might as well get these guys to the coast as soon as possible. Okay, we're going to send one more guy, let's say, here. And this other guy, let's say, there. Okay, and everybody goes to the coast. And they get ready to sail. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. And you're going to wait. There we are. Um, the Statue of Zeus, yes, but first let's get more production. No, this one does not give me more production. Still, it's a very good unique uh, quarter. Mm, more faith or more in influence in territories when they follow state religion. Um, I won't get either of them because I don't have the influence and also I want a new city here, which is kind of expensive. Okay, let's go up here, actually. You wait. All of the guys in the coast are just waiting. Okay, this territory seems to have a lot of stuff that could be chopped, honestly. So we're going to go there. There's also just one guy, so he can go here. Okay, you wait, you wait. 
Perfect. And now we can finally explore around, yeah? Trade expeditions have been researched. Good stuff. We are very close to getting our third city. Yep, nice stuff. And even nicer stuff. And very nice stuff. And super nice stuff. Okay, <laughs> excellent. So we are going to go towards collectivism, but by distributing inheritance, we are going to finally finish masonry. Okay then, now what? Um, I like hydrology, honestly, because we have so many rivers. Writing to get this stuff a bit cheaper, that's also important actually. So we are going to get writing first and then maybe hydrology. Um, we need more of these guys, so we will get them. Yeah, there you go. And these guys will chop maybe that. Yeah, that looks good, because these guys are going to chop this one. Okay. And you are going to go here, and maybe there, and maybe we can colonize some islands. Which is obviously very nice. Speaking of colonizing, you are doing this, and we get one expansionist era star, which is super nice. We buy the cotton actually, and we get this, or we we use our ability actually to get that. Oh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't have used it because I don't have so much influence, and I wanted to attach this for 24. Yeah. Okay, let's get more influence by purchasing that immediately <laughs> and then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. six industry four industry but we are going to get this one with the rocky field in the mountain the forest i'm going to get this This guy is going to explore a little bit. And you are going to enter this continent. Alright then. We are going to approach that one. And this is shallow waters, so we can enter there. So this guy doesn't die. Very important. We don't want to get lost at sea. Okay then. You check out these islands. Let's see what we can take from them. this guy is going here and then there of course we don't want him to drown in the middle of the ocean that would be a very ugly way to die honestly why would anyone want that okay so we get another curiosity that's always beautiful and this territory doesn't seem to have any resources i am not super super happy about that Carthage will get this Another expansion is there a star, that's very good. You can get that, you can get more of this stuff. So we solve our stability issues. Speaking of stability issues, we have a lot of them here. Lots of food. That's good. Some money, some industry, a lot of industry. Okay, let's go with this. We're going to enter this land, and you, I don't know what you're going to do, but this guy first. Okay, those are some very small islands. And so what can this guy do? I'll tell you what he can do, he can go here, well they can go here, the full army, and chop stuff. Just chop, chop, chop. Okay, at least we can get a lot of food. This is 23. This is also 23 with more production, so I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, much better. Okay, we got writing. That's an enormous leap forward, according to the narrator. Um, you know what? We are starting to really need that stability, so we're going to get this guy um, here. Yeah, here is fine. I will protect the people from the uh, flood, 
Also, sometimes if that works really well and you end up getting um, some like extra food or whatever. So, it's always a good idea to protect them. Okay, now this guy should check for more shallow water in the north, I think. And this fella will take a look around here, I think. And you are going to go up the mountains in this island. And still no resources. Well, that's, that's really unfortunate. Also a neighbor, apparently. Anyway. Mm -hmm. This is 19, 21, 18, 21. This 21 is more balanced, so... I reckon I'll, I'll go for the balanced 21, which is this one here. Cool. Okay. I like that. We're going to go and get that. This island has copper. Apart from that, there isn't so much to do here. So we might leave that one for the future. You can go up there. And Carthage will help with the Statue of Zeus because really we, we just need that. Okay then. I wonder if I can get more production for some money. No, not right now. Okay, uh, then um, we're going to check if there's more shallow water here. Apparently not. Okay, if this guy wants to go back to land, he has to do it through this path of shallow water. Otherwise, he will drown in the way. And as I said before, we really don't want these guys drowning. It's, it's just nasty to leave your people to dry like that, to drown like that. So. Anyway, we're going to be chopping the statue of Zeus. We want to get it done as quickly as possible. And we just got another agrarian and a scientist era star. We have four of those. We are last in fame, but that's normal because we started isolated and this is uh, humankind difficulty. So we couldn't do any sort of early conquest to catch up to the AI quickly. Now the roads between cities um, are nice, I'm not going to lie to you, but um, we still don't have any fighting to do. We should maybe build some research quarters because we're kind of far behind in science. Yeah, we are going to get this outpost, it's just a necessity. Um, yeah. This dude will go here and you will go up there. And see what's up there and you will do this. Find a neighbor. Okay, but we cannot say hi to the neighbor because we are drowning, so it's not so easy to say hi to the neighbors in this type of isolated maps, which makes them more challenging, and I like it, if I'm honest with you, it's a lot of fun. Uh, relax, because you don't do a lot of early wars, of course, but I mean, I've done so many wars in this game, <laughs> because it's so violent all the time that... It's nice to have a little bit of a slower start for a change. Let's see if we can say hello to these fellas, our western neighbors. And also just attach this territory maybe. Um, yeah, we are getting really low in stability. How much is it to get this and just buy it? Okay, that's better. Yeah, we don't want to go so low. The Statue of Zeus should solve my um, stability problems, let's say. Okay, you will get that and then come back. That's 80 gold, very nice. Durkurigal Su, can you get these and just buy it. No, it's too expensive. 
Can you buy this one? Yes, you can. Okay, that will help me get everything a little bit faster. All right then. Debate and, dis Debate and discussion, indeed. You can get more territories, which will help with the Statue of Zeus. And we're going to chop the Statue of Zeus. Yeah. Let's get it done as quickly as possible. Here we seem to have another island that no one has. So that's beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So this island is very disappointing. It does have some forests though, that's nice. But um, no, no resources at all. That's just, that's just ugly. Honestly, okay, we do have some items, so I could get standing army. Um, also, standing army, I think, leads to yeah, my unique unit, which is a nice one. Um, that being said, rhetoric for the library is probably more important at this point in the game. Let's keep chopping to get things faster, yeah. Alright, this guy needs to land somewhere else because there is a cliff there, so I cannot land in that particular position. You will go maybe here, yeah. That sounds acceptable. Oh wait a second. Ooh, the Sapotex. Let's go and say hi to the Sapotex. Uh wait. What if I do roads in three turns? Well, whatever, I will I will send my army to the Sapotex soon. Maybe I build a swordsman. Yeah, maybe I do. Okay. So that's another city apparently, which I can totally get, so it's fine. Uh-huh. I will have to land in this guy's territory, which means they will probably attack me, but I will we'll see what happens. What? Dude, seriously? Okay, then I'm leaving. <laughs> um, I'm not waiting for you to attack me. Come on. Okay, let's go and say hi to the Sapotex. It's gonna take a while because I didn't build any roads, but that's fine. Okay, Carthage is also having stability issues. This guy no more. Okay. Dur Kurigalsu will be able to do some stuff, but for now we only can build infrastructure. Let's go with this one first. And then we'll see. All of the river stuff is very good up there. This city can build one more of more of these. Oh, that's so good. And um Then I guess this one, until we can deal with stability in a more efficient way. Anyways. Let's go down, try to get away from the enemy. Okay, let's do that. And here, this guy really doesn't want to trade anything with me, that's, that's just so disappointing, honestly. So, so disappointing. We need another religious thingy, probably. So we'll get one. Okay, this island doesn't look too bad, honestly. Let's buy the public fountain, and yeah, the religious stuff also uh, improves your stability, so that's fine. Let's go do this. Thirteen, seventeen. I think I have a seventeen, that is the best one. It's not super balanced or anything like that, but it was never going to be balanced, so it's fine. You keep going down, because you have nothing to do here. Um, 
What if all of these guys become a proper army here in Durkuri also? Like, I can do this. Then, uh, yeah, and turn by this one. Okay. Now we do this, this, and that, yeah? And that. We need to start getting armies, basically. Otherwise, no one will respect me. That's why they don't want to trade with me. They think I'm so weak that it's not even worth it to trade with me or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. They don't seem to be very respectful of my leadership, so... Okay, we will attach this one because the Pagoda will give me the stability that I need to keep playing after I I buy that. Oh! They decided to... Um, get this, so... No, okay. How do I live? I have to live through where I came, basically. Alright. We'll go here. Excellent. I cannot get this thing from like this way, because I will drown if I try to do it. We'll go here. I keep making sure I don't miss any islands. We could have some nice resources. Individualism, no. I like collectivism better. I like the idea of having a lot of food and I have the 80 gold right there with me, so not a problem whatsoever. Let's get the iron and let's get this. Yeah, there you go. This goes towards the um, districts. So yeah, good stuff. Okay. So, okay, finally we have a nice army. We can use it to go and take we just sue. And here we are going to get another one of my unique districts because they provide some nice amount of everything basically that's so stupid why wouldn't you want to trade in this difficult world ok let's try these guys before destroying the city uh, that will give me some militaristic era stars which is always nice Okay, good stuff. A few units are gone. Excellent. Okay, I need to approach that guy. Okay, excellent. Yep, good stuff. You do this and then go back. These guys will promote. And then we will go and take that city, of course. Why wouldn't we? Okay, that works. Hey, hello. Hello, Celts. Quill, crazy nice. Okay, hello, crazy nice. This is one, one that I downloaded, I think. Mm. Okay, that's something, I guess. Okay, I could only buy one resource, but um, it's still better than nothing. And also, that trade route allows me to meet a lot of people, as you can see. So that's excellent. Wait, maybe they offer it to me the next turn, so let's just wait for now. Yeah, see? Sometimes if you wait, they offer you that, and then I can do something else. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It is what it is. Yes, it is. These ones don't want to trade, and this guy does want to trade. 
Okay. What? What do you want now? Okay, let's see. Do they want to trade with this one maybe? Because I want to buy porcelain, but it's just too expensive. Well, we'll have to wait one more turn to buy the porcelain, I guess. Cartage could start uh, getting the money here. Yeah, that should work. Oh, yeah, the harbors can now be adjacent to districts. They, they work as an anchor for districts. So that's much, much better. We're going to get organized warfare and the wheel because I'm a bit late on those ones, so I might as well get them already. Let's make an assault. That's good. And let's just go all in against this guy. Cool. The swordsman is very strong there, so it's fine. And this should be a very, very easy fight just to take that city. Excellent. So when it comes to the militaristic era stars, we need to kill four more guys. We can only kill three more guys. So not perfect, but still good. Let's go up here while I decide what to do. These guys need to heal in order to attack that guy. Organize warfare, scientists, etc. Okay. Are the kills training? It's just too expensive. 361. This guy, incense. Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, ambergris. No, I don't have the money for it. Okay, slowly but surely we will be buying luxuries, which also help with uh, stability. Which in turn allows me to build more districts. So yeah, trading is really important early on. That's why isolated stars are always a little bit more difficult. In terms of science, we are going to take the wheel because uh, my guys are just taking forever to move from one place to the other. So yeah. 340, 340. I can invest in something that someone else has. I guess the 340 are the best ones. Yeah. Okay, let's get this one. And we get some money there. 340 gold, which in turn we can use to buy porcelain and get more money per turn, I mean, which leads us to the merchant era stars because we don't have any of those and we really want to have them, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything else over there, so we will have to come back. And now with the wheel research, finally my guys are going to move a little bit faster. Also, I'm looking for some more enemies, but apparently there is nothing here. So, um, 20, 23, let's see. Well, this 23 actually looks really nice. Um, I think I'm going to go for the 23 here. There you go. And we conquer the entire continent, which gives us some fame points. That's also very, very nice, of course. We're going to continue building that. This is nine money. Some pretty good stuff as well. Harapa will get the extra food, because that's a lot of food. And also the extra industry. And more science per trade routes of course, I mean, that's going to be very helpful from now on. And this, because these resources are starting to get way too expensive for my personal taste. 
So if we can make them cheaper, that's just great. Okay, apparently there is nothing else over there, so I don't need to worry about it so much. Let's check the north of this island. No ambergris, apparently. There is some territory here, I think. I will have to go and check it out. Let's go here, and then this guy will slowly but surely go that way. Okay, let's do a manual battle here. Um, do this. Force them to attack. Oh, one of them went to the water, which is a huge mistake. Yep, you don't send your chariots to the water, that's silly. Alright then. And this guy should die this turn, I think. Yep, excellent. So, maybe eventually we get a military seeker at start, but. Um, it's going to take a few eras until we start doing wars. That's usually what happens uh, with these isolated starts. Okay, so you have to be a little bit patient at the beginning. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, nothing here. We can go all the way down there and see maybe here there is another island. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen there, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. We want to get this curiosity for sure. And this guy wants to get a second territory, of course. Um, let's finish the cotton, yeah. And get a second one. Because they're super, super good. Okay, we'll go back here. What's going on here? Nothing. How you doing, Who rejected the trade stuff? This one? We would all benefit from growing closer. You have our greetings. They have a lot of stuff that I want to buy. So it would be really good if they stop being silly. Okay, that one is cheap, let's buy it. Queen of the Khmer. Still refusing. I don't get why, honestly. They should be happy to sell me their stuff. Anyway. Because I want to buy stuff from you. I already told you. Okay. So we're having a lot of trade going on, that's good. Um, how's the stability situation now? 66, 41, 61, and so on. So, uh, Carthage, what's your deal? Why are you so unstable? I guess we'll get one of those. Okay. These guys can go over there and chop. There is a lot to chop up there after all, so why not do it? 80 gold, excellent stuff. What's going on here? We can trade maybe, Ambergris. Yeah, let's go with the Ambergris because we need the science, honestly. I just want to get as much science as possible to catch up with these guys. Let's remember that we are pretty much certain that we are behind in science, so... We need to do something about it, you know? You cannot be behind in science all game long. That's not a proper way to play a Forex game. We know it, you know it, everybody knows it. Speaking of science... Let's get stuff. Yep, that's nice. Merchant uh, star. We have 11 stars now, which is not too bad. And the camera are gone, but everything else is here. Um, in this type of map, uh, the Norsemen are better than normal, and the... Um, where are they? I, th there is another culture that is very good here. Actually, how are the Taino here? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Well, the rate is pretty good actually as well. That being said, oh here the Swahili are very good. You get a lot of money with the Swahili. I wouldn't mind getting them. Can I get one more star in an easy way? Not really. It's gonna take a while for anything here. So you know what? I will just go for the Swahili. Because you get a lot of money with this stuff and their um, embarkment is not so good as the Norseman, you cannot just go into the ocean without any penalties. But it works kind of like a cog, basically. You get wounded a little bit, but you can still sail. So you can explore a bit more in the ocean with those guys. Yeah, to talk, but not to trade. Okay, it looks like we cannot buy anything else right now. Yeah, we can buy coffee. Let's buy coffee. Alright. You do this, please. Thank you. Oh, I cannot make more of my unique district, right? I didn't check before going to the next area, but no, I cannot do it. So, it's fine. So, do Kurigalsu could get me some production. Oh, that's losing a lot of food, actually. But I think I will still do it. I need some production, I need some quarters. So, all in all, I should be fine. Overproductive is very nice, but going towards individualism, I'm not so sure. I'm still going to do it, though, because I love overproductive. Just having that extra production is always cool. Okay, you go here, you're going to explore the south. These guys are going to chop. And that's it. That's it for this turn and that's it for this video. As you can see, we have the full continent for ourselves already. We are starting to meet people and trying to trade as much as possible. And these guys did not want to trade and they're not doing so great actually. So I might just want to go for them and and attack them. They should be okay in science though, so that's something we should be careful about. There seems to be some um, free people here, so maybe we want to meet them later and assimilate them or something like that. We'll see about that in the next video. Until then, please remember to hit the like button and thank you very much for watching.